Hey guys, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations and today I want to show everybody how I created this absolutely stunning color shifting alligator skin tumbler. And I actually saw another video that someone did and I wanted to give it a shot myself. I cannot for the life of me remember who did this video, but I wanted to give it a try myself. So here we go. Now I started off with 30 milliliters 30 mls of stone coat fast set epoxy this stuff literally completely dries to the touch within an hour so it is super super fast drying and you do not ever want to use it as a top coat because it will yellow over time with this stuff you have to work really quickly and you mix it up i like i said i mixed up 30 milliliters i've got 15 and 15 15 apart a 15 apart b and i am just going to get really good coverage on my entire 30 ounce tumbler here now this is a 30 ounce skinny tumbler that i have prepped and spray painted with matte black spray paint so once the spray paint was dry i put the 30 milliliters of the fast set epoxy on it and get it smoothed out once i have good coverage i take my finger smooth it out real good make a good swipe across the bottom make sure i don't have any extra epoxy hanging out there from there i'm going to grab my blowtorch which i bought on amazon and i'm going to pop any little micro bubbles that are trying to hang out Now that all my micro bubbles are gone, I'm going to use this silicone mat that I purchased on Amazon. It is an alligator skin silicone mat and I actually cut it down to size a little bit and then I've got just some rubber bands that I have laying around the house. I'm going to stop my turner because I want it to lay still while I wrap this silicone mat around my tumbler. Look how simple this is, guys. It is so incredibly easy to put this pattern on your tumbler and I'm sure you can probably do it with regular epoxy. I just I'm an impatient person. I wanted to do it with the facet epoxy. I'm gonna be covering it with a color shifting powder. So I wanted to go ahead and use the fast set epoxy because I could not wait to see the outcome of this and I could not stand to wait hours. So I wrapped it with rubber bands and I wanted to make sure it was super tight. So I actually grabbed a couple more rubber bands, threw it on there just to make sure that it was stuck down really good all over the tumbler. Now that I feel like I have enough rubber bands on here, I'm just gonna push down all over the tumbler real briefly, make sure that it is good and secure on there, and I'm going to let it spin for about an hour and a half to two hours. At that point, I stopped my tumbler and I started pulling off these rubber bands to reveal what is underneath. And I, <laughs> I've gotta say, I was a little bit nervous about how this project was gonna turn out when I first pulled these rubber bands off, but I rolled with it and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful, but you are about to see what I'm talking about. I pulled these rubber bands off and I was like, oh, I wasn't really sure about what was about to happen because as of right now, my cup looks a hot mess. So like I said, I was nervous, but I rolled with it. I said, let's go with it. Let's see what's going to happen. So from here, I just, I decided we were going to spray paint it. I push down on the epoxy a little bit but it really didn't have any kind of effect so there's don't even waste your time with it just go straight to the black spray paint I went with a gloss black spray paint and I took this thing outside it's a Krylon gloss spray paint I took it outside I sprayed it down really good and from there while the spray paint was still good and tacky I took my mica powder or my color shifting powder which I got from it's pretty personal glitter and I just, I took a makeup brush and I started with a smaller brush, but then I decided eh, I wanted a little bit bigger brush because I just wasn't getting enough coverage. So I ended up swapping to this bigger makeup brush and I just really freely took this powder and rubbed it all over the tumbler onto the tacky spray paint. And I made sure to use a gloss spray paint because the gloss takes longer to dry than the matte spray paint does. So probably want to use a gloss spray paint just so that the 
mica powder will stick better. And you also want to be sure to work pretty quickly too. And things really sped up a lot whenever I changed to this larger makeup brush. As you can see, I was able to get a lot more coverage. It was a little bit messier, but that's okay because I needed to work faster because my spray paint was starting to dry. So things moved so much quicker. It, it actually just worked a lot better with the bigger brush. So I would highly recommend using a bigger brush for a project like this. As I mentioned before, I got this color shifting powder here from It's Pretty Personal Glitter, and I will link them down in the description box below. There's also other companies out there that have color shifting powder. For example, Woody, Woods Goodies, Woody's Goodies, however you say it, they have some super awesome colors available. Um, once my spray paint was completely dry, I mixed up 30 milliliters of my favorite epoxy, Tumblr Epoxy, and I am going to apply that 30 milliliters of epoxy over my cup now. So you just wanna get really good coverage. This cup is super lumpy and bumpy. There's a few little uh, sharp spots that we will end up taking care of down the road once we sand this cup. And just be careful. I actually did tear, poke a hole in my glove while I was working with this because like I said, this is a really bumpy cup right now and there were a couple of sharp spots just from where I had pulled the silicone mat off so be careful with that you may want to double glove a little bit if you you know you may want to put two pairs of gloves on there just in case you know if you do not want to get epoxy on your hands because you should always use personal protection equipment while working with epoxy so double glove because there are sharp spots but we will take care of those sharp spots here after two coats of epoxy because we are going to apply two coats of epoxy I'm gonna apply this 30 milliliters and once I get good coverage I'm gonna take my finger starting at the bottom of the cup and work my way up now there are little ridges and stuff here from the alligator scales so you want to make sure you get epoxy into all of those little ridges creases everywhere on here just get really good coverage smooth it out once you get it good and smooth we're gonna take our blowtorch, just like always, make a quick pass over the cup, and pop any micro bubbles, get it good and smooth. And I do wanna mention my blowtorch here, my little butane torch that I use for all of my tumblers. I bought on Amazon also other products and everything that I use. I have linked down in the description box below so that it is easier for you to find them. I am now going to let this first coat of epoxy spin for about six hours or so before I go in for my second coat of epoxy. And I actually, as you can see in the background, I have another cup that I had, a, I just, I got really excited about this color shifting powder. So I went ahead and threw it onto another cup and I actually just put it onto a cup that had some tacky epoxy on it and burnished it on with the makeup brush instead of putting it over the spray paint and it turned out just absolutely stunning. So that's pretty much my new favorite cup back there in the background. Um, but I went in for my second coat of epoxy now once my first coat was pretty dry. In my second coat I used another 30 milliliters of tumbler epoxy epoxy and I just smooth it out the same way. And I want to talk about that cup back there in the back again. Uh, I am actually I have started a Patreon group, and in my group, I'm going to be giving away a tumbler from my tutorials in my Patreon group. So I'm going to be giving that tumbler in the back, that 20 ounce tumbler, I'm going to be giving that tumbler away in my Patreon group coming up soon. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I just started the Patreon group today, actually. So check it out if you have a chance. It's $15 a month and I'm, I am going to do an intro video on it this weekend sometime when I have a little bit of time. But check it out. The link to it is down in the description box below. So I'm going to let the second coat of epoxy spin and let the cup completely dry for at least 10 hours. Not sure why my video is blurry right now but it clears up here in just a second. So now that my cup is completely dry after two coats of epoxy over my color shifting powder I'm going to sand it. I use 220 grit 
sandpaper. I buy it on Amazon and I it has a sticky back to it so it sticks nicely to my hand. It makes it a lot easier to use and to manage and I'm just really going to focus on the edges. This top edge around the rim really has some po pokey spots on it, some kind of sharp spots and then down here around the edge as well just on the bottom of the alligator skin pattern I'm going to sand there too. You don't want to get the very bottom of the cup too much because we don't have an alligator skin pattern there, so you don't want to rub away any of that color shifting powder. And then once I get those edges pretty good, I'm going to just knock down any little lumps and bumps that are right there in the middle of the cup. Just sand it down real good. You don't have to get crazy with it because we're going to put another coat of epoxy over the, sand, the sanded cup here. So knock down any lumps and bumps, just any kind of crazy spots that are trying to stick up and then we're going to get it ready for our next coat of epoxy y'all this cup i can't even explain how absolutely beautiful this cup turned out this is one of my new favorite cups so as you can see i am feeling around the rim here just to make sure that i don't have any spots sticking up because i do not want my customers or anybody drinking out of any of my products to be poked in the mouth by hard sharp epoxy so now that my cup is sanded, it is time for its bath. I always wash my cups in the sink. I use warm water and I use Dawn dish soap. I give it a real good bath, get off any little dust particles, anything like that that's trying to hang out so that it can be ready for its last coat of epoxy. I do want to mention, some of you may notice, I have a little bit of a different change of scenery in my videos. I have had a lot of big life changes come up here recently, and so you are going to see some changes in my scenery and with some of the stuff that I'm doing. So I, I moved and I am uh, creating a new life for myself and it is, it's a, it's going to be a good move. So, but you are going to notice some, some little changes here and there. So our cup is washed and it's ready for the last coat of epoxy. So I am now going to use 30 more milliliters of tumbler epoxy epoxy. As I mentioned, Tumblr Epoxy is my favorite epoxy. You cannot beat Tumblr Epoxy's glass coat finish that they have. And the micro bubbles in this epoxy is extremely minimal. I literally have zero problems with micro bubbles whenever I work with Tumblr Epoxy. It is great. So I'm going to put 30 milliliters on here, get really good coverage, and then I'm going to start at the bottom of the cup with my finger and I'm going to push up just smoothing out my epoxy and as as my cup spins I want to make sure it's smooth I want to make sure I get good coverage once I do that I'm going to take my blowtorch and I'm gonna make a super quick pass over the cup popping any little micro bubbles that are trying to hang out and smoothing out my epoxy as you can see this cup was so incredibly simple to make but it turned out absolutely gorgeous if you decide to make this cup, I would absolutely love to see your cups in the Facebook group. So if you make it, be sure to join the Facebook group if you haven't already and post it in there so I can see it. I've got my Facebook group linked down in the description box below along with my Patreon group and along with the links to all the products that I use while I make my tumblers and epoxy pens. I really hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to see more tutorials and videos just like it. I hope y'all have a great day. Y'all take care. Bye.